yeah what's up you guys we're back and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the next update uh which is the archer towers level 13. now this is actually a base with fully maxed archer towers 13 and if you guys can notice the arrows are actually a different color i'm gonna go ahead and try and see if i can pause it on one of these uh and also the troops coming out will also be level 7 archers as well so we'll get to see if their archers are a different color now let me see if i can pause it here uh the archer arrows are like a a violet or a pink if you will a color which signifies the uh upgrade to level seven now that's also the same color on the archer towers so if you ask me i do like the way the archers look they look stronger and they um the weapons look a little better as well uh, but I don't believe that'll be the last level just because, uh, you know, level seven is such an odd, um, such an odd number. And I think 10 or 12 would be like an even or a probably a end point for the archers to be upgraded to. That's just my theory. But if level seven is it, then you have me surprised. But I am liking the upgrade to the archer towers. Now, this is... Um, probably something a lot of champions needed uh, as it is now the heroes are still I wouldn't say the heroes just overall attacking at champions is still pretty one-sided people that attack you are gonna usually two-star you so having archer towers upgraded to this will help out a lot of defenders and um, as well as the new unit that we got the lava troop that may be just a counterbalance so that we can balance the game out uh, with these new units once people test out the new troop and they figure out some ways around it they could probably be pretty overpowered so i'm liking the upgrade to the archer towers 13 i do feel it is necessary uh, to give us these new upgrades so this has been a pretty good two star from carpo from king's rock mind you on upgraded archer towers now before i forget you guys the walls have been changed so that you can upgrade them with elixir and gold as well as the heroes and valkyries have reduced training and rejuvenation times so those are some of the things you'll notice with the update all right so let's go ahead and jump into this next battle and let's see if we can see the new troop in action the lava hound now this is another king's rock member he's going to use one and see if he can pull it off and uh well actually this is just an explanation of the troop uh if you guys can look it looks like a it, it looks like he has a stinger but that's actually his foot i know you won't be able to get a close-up unless somebody has these troops inside their army camps but this is how it looks semi-close and he's getting taken down by the infernal tower but as he blows up, you can see his little minions are actually doing a little bit of work. Now, they're not actually throwing poop this time. It looks like they're peeing on stuff. So the minions poop, the hounds pee. Makes sense to me. <laughs> and uh, he's going to go ahead and, and do the best he can. I don't think he got this one just because he was experimenting with the hound. But let's see if we can go and find another replay and see how they use this one. Now this one is actually on defense. If you guys are interested in using the Lava Hounds for defense, this is probably what you can expect if you're gonna do that. Now granted, this is a lot different if you're in a higher cup range. People don't really fall for little gimmicks like this, but I believe in a lower cup range, you could probably throw off some players if they're trying to farm you. And this is the Lava Hound coming out of the clan castle and he's going for the hero and the golems. And he doesn't do too much damage. However, when he does blow up, that should scatter and cause confusion with the enemy troops. And they might distract them a little bit so that they um, just have more time drained on the attack. But however, in Champions League, I don't think it'll cause too much of an effect as this player from King's Rock was still able to get the Town Hall and possibly the 50% with this attack. And you guys, this should wrap it up so you get to see Lava Hounds on attack and defense in the Clan Castle. Now, I will be posting more videos of this when I use them and just giving you guys a better idea of how I can use these guys. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time. Gotsen out.